Today we're looking at Fur Elise. Um, this is the first section of the song, and we're going to go through the first part of it. So these notes up here are E and D, D sharp. sharp, and we're going to be starting one octave above middle C. So this is middle C right here. Your right hand is going to be up here. So you're going to put your fifth finger on E and your fourth finger on D sharp. So it's going to be one, two, and then B. We'll try that again. One, two, three. This is the main theme of the song, so it's going to repeat many, many times. The next thing that happens after that is that our left hand comes in. Now the left hand is gonna come in on A, a little bit more than an octave below middle C. So middle C again is here. So we're on A down here. And it's an arpeggio that's going to be played. So it's A, E, A. And that will come in conjunction with the A up here. So it's like this. After that, your right hand is going to come down to middle C, and you're going to go C, E, A, B. Now when you play this B, your left hand goes down to E, a couple notes below where it was. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. And it's going to go E, stretch up an octave, and then your second finger will come over to G sharp. Then your right hand goes to E, G sharp, B, C. And we go back to this A, E, A. So we're going to play those measures again, starting from the beginning. One, two, three. If you're having any problems with your left hand movements, it can help to practice just the left hand. So the left hand's going from the A down to the E and back to the A. If it's difficult, you can do that a few times. And the right hand is going from up here down to the C and then this E. So if it's hard to play them together, break the hands apart. I'm going to do it one more time. One, two, three. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to work on that a little bit more. If you're feeling good about it, what happens next is you play this E and you stretch up to this one and start over again. And this is a little bit different. So I'm going to play that whole first section up to the repeat sign, and then I'm going to repeat it and play the second ending. If you get really good at that, the next thing to do would be to look at the pedaling. So 
The pedaling is every time that your left hand plays, you're gonna have a pedal down. You're not gonna have it down between. So the pedal will go down for these three notes, for these three notes, for these three notes, and then here you'll notice it says pedal simile. That means that you do the same kind of pedaling. So every time the left hand is down, your pedal's going to go down. Let me do an example of that. once you get good at the pedaling is to look at the dynamics. So this is actually very quiet. It's pianissimo. And there's a crescendo and then a diminuendo here. And then another crescendo and diminuendo. So this section is super quiet. You'll notice there's a mezzo forte coming up next, but we're not there yet. So once you're good at that, you're going to play it really quiet. That's the first section of Fur Elise.